Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And I'm here today so I can help you add using base 10 blocks. I love base 10 blocks. Building with base 10 blocks is awesome. But you can also use them to help you add and count and make some really hard math problems a lot easier. First, let's review what the base 10 blocks really are. Here we have one cube. And one cube is just equal to one. Then we have something we like to call a long. A long has 10 cubes in it. A long usually represents 10. And we usually put longs in the tens place. Remember that for later. Then we have one flat. One flat has 100 cubes in it. And we know this because we can count each cube until we get to 100, but we can also count using longs. There are 10 longs inside the flat. Just trust me guys, there's 100 cubes inside the flat. Now, using this information, let's read the directions and start our worksheet. Use the models to add. Not those models, they mean the base 10 models. Circle the correct total on the right. Let's get started. First thing I like to do is make a place value chart. This is going to help me keep track of all the numbers I put together and then we'll just be able to read the number for the right answer. So first let's make a zero, an O. First let's make an O for the ones place, a T for the tens place, and an H for the hundreds place. Now let's count each place separately. First, in the number 341, I know that there's one. We see one cube, just one, only one. In the number 25, there are five ones. And we can see that because there are five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Instead of adding one plus five, let's just count the ones as one group together. So we'll start with the one, two, three, four, five, six. All together, there are six ones. Let's do the same thing for the tens. Let's just count them as one long each. And let's see how many there are. In the number 341, there are one, two, three, four tens. In the number 25, there are one, two tens. Now, just like last time, let's count them all together as a group of 10. Now, just like last time, let's count them all together as groups of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens. So let's write six in the tens place. Then if we go over to the hundreds place, number 25 has no hundreds. But the number 341 has one, two, three hundreds. So let's put that in the hundreds place. Now we can just read this beautiful number all together. And if I look at this number, I know the number I'm looking at is 366. And that's choice A. So we can circle choice A. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's check our work to make sure 366 is really the correct answer. One way to check our work using place value is to write the value of each place. Here's what I mean. Let's make that, hand Let's make that handy place value chart again. Start with O for the ones place, T for the tens place, and H for the hundreds place. Now I remember how many ones there are, but let's just count them again to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are 
six ones. And I remember one cube is equal to just one. So six ones equal to six. Then again, we're gonna count our tens, and I remember, but let's just make sure that there are one, two, three, four, five, six tens. But since there are 10 cubes in each long, we have to skip count by 10 six times. So let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Six tens equals 60. And finally, there are three hundreds. One, two, three. But there are 100 cubes inside each flat. So we have to skip count by hundreds to figure out how much three hundreds equals. Hmm, I wonder how much three hundreds equals. Let's count. 100, 200, 300. So now we're left with these even numbers. And if we write them really clearly, lined up in the right place, look how eating, look how easy adding these numbers can be. We have a three in the hundreds place with a zero in the tens and a zero in the ones for 300. Then we have a six in the tens and a zero in the ones for 60. And finally, we have a six in the ones place and nothing else for the number six. If we add these numbers together, we'll see that zero plus zero plus six is just six. Again, six plus zero or zero plus six is six. And three plus nothing is three. And we have the same number as before, 366. I'm pretty sure our answer is 366. We could check it even one more way if we want to just be safe. We can line our problem up vertically the way it's written and add place by place. This is called the standard logarithm and this is the way that most kids learn in school. First, we'll add the ones place, one plus five. Again, we just count five plus one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One plus five is six. Then we have four plus two. Four plus two is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And finally, we have three plus nothing. We know three plus nothing is just three leaving us with 366 for a third time. Okay, we get it. The answer is 366. Let's try the next problem. We'll start off by making our hundreds chart again. We'll start off by making our place value chart again. We'll fill in the O for the ones, T for the tens, and H for the hundreds. We'll be adding 267 plus 22. So of course we'll start with the ones place. Let's count the cubes in 267 in the ones place. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven cubes. We can add the other two cubes, but let's just keep counting. Seven, eight, and nine. There are nine ones. Let's count the tens. There are one, two, three, four, five, six tens and the number 267. And there are one, two tens and the number 22. But if we kept counting six, seven, eight, we'll see that there are really eight tens in the number. We'll see that there are eight tens when we combine all the tens. And finally, in 267, there are two hundreds. And if we just read this number, I see the number 289. So we can circle 289 on the right. But let's just be sure. I know that there are nine cubes when I count them together. And nine cubes is really just equal to nine. 
also know that there are eight tens when I add the tens together or count the tens together. If I skip count by tens eight times, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80, there are 80 little cubes in eight tens. So I have 80. And in two hundreds or two flats, if I skip count by hundreds, 100, 200, there are 200 little cubes in two flats. So again, we can add our 200 with a two in the hundreds place, plus 80 with eight in the tens place, plus nine with the nine in the ones place. Add these numbers together. Zero plus zero plus nine is nine. Zero plus eight is eight. And two plus nothing is two, giving us 289 for a second time. I'm pretty sure this is our answer. Thank you so much for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.